Hello and welcome to this 3ds Max tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make gold material in 3ds Max. It follows the same principles as making a metal material in 3ds Max. We'll be playing with the characteristics such as colour to make it more of a golden colour and more of a yellow reflection. Let's first head over to Google Images just to see what type of gold we'll be recreating. As you can see we have a gold bar on the right hand side here. And no matter what light reflects off this gold bar, it always gives us back yellow reflections and that's what makes it this gold colour. So we're keeping this in mind when creating our gold material in 3ds Max. First we'll need to create a base shape in 3ds Max. Today I've just made this base corona renderer shape but you can use whatever, whatever shape you'd like. Now we'll head over to M or material editor and make sure it's selected as slate material editor. Then we're going to right click, press materials, corona, corona MCL. And this will be our base material for the gold material. Let's double click this and double click our base shape and press assign material to selection. Now once we've done this, we can see this in the interactive renderer. This is now live. First, let's change the color of this to black, just like so, and increase the reflection to one. Now we almost have a chrome like material but we want to make this more of a goldy colour. First we're going to play with the Fresnel IOR and this basically tells us how much ray is reflected off the surface of the material compared to how much is absorbed. So let's move this up to let's say 9. Now we have this nice reflection like the gold material. Now let's change the colour to make it more of a yellowy or orangey colour depending on what type of gold you want in your scene. So let's just play around with this. As you see here, we now have kind of a rose gold, more, more of a rose gold color. So let's increase this orange amount here and this yellow amount here. So I'm going for more of a traditional gold color. So I'm happy with this color. So let's press OK. And now after this, we want to play with the reflection glossiness. So let's right click, maps, corona, corona bitmap, and select this dirt map right here. Now we want to drag this dirt map into the reflection glossiness and double click this so we can see a bigger picture of it. Now as you can see this dirt map has been applied to the outside of the material and it doesn't look very realistic at the moment. So we want to double click on our corona material and scroll down to the bottom and play with the reflection glossiness amount. Let's change this to 20% and see what comes up. Now as you can see it's made the gold a little bit more blurry and a little bit less reflective. So let's increase this to 50. I'm much more happy with this, as the reflection glossiness now looks like my gold material being at 50%. Now let's head back over to the slate material editor and add corona color correct. And we'll drag that in between these two materials. Now let's double click on this corona gold color correct and increase the brightness and the contrast. This looks better. Let's also increase the gamma to around 2.8 I'd say. Now as we zoom in we can kind of play with what type of gold we want to create. So let's increase this brightness to 0.8 and this contrast to 5 let's say. Now this looks super realistic. Now if we're trying to create a more dirty or more rough gold, like you'd see if a ring was used for example, we can decrease this brightness to 0.22 for example. And then we'll, the, corona, uh, the corona bitmap will be much more visible and it will become a lot more dirtier for example. And we can also go back to the colour and change this to a more dirtier gold, just like so. So this concludes my 3ds Max tutorial on how to make gold. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.